Hi lads, so um, I just have two examples here to go through with you today um, just for your question for your work on indices today. Okay, so if I'm given something like this, right, to start off it does look quite confusing, but we'll just apply our rules of indices like we were doing yesterday. So the first thing I'm going to look at anyway is the x's there together. Okay, so let's just look at those together. If you have division, my rule is subtract the powers. So I'm going to take 2 minus minus 4. So if I do 2 minus negative 4, 2 minuses make a plus, so I get 6. So I'm just have for my next part, x to the power of 6. Do the same thing with the y's. So y to the minus 3 and a y to the 5. So when you're dividing, subtract the power. So you do minus 3, take away 5, you're left with a minus 8. So I have y to the minus 8. And that's all to the power of half as, as before. So you just simplify it and straight away when your fraction is gone, it actually looks a lot simpler. The next thing. So when you have um, a power to power, that goes on to everything inside the bracket. Okay. So it's going to be x to the 6 to the power of a half. And then we have our y to the minus 8 to the power of a half. And remember, what's your rule when you have a power to a power? Multiply the powers. So 6 multiplied by a half is just 3. So you have x to the 3, and minus 8 by half is minus 4, y to the minus 4. Now remember, I don't really like having a minus 4 up here, so if I take this whole thing underneath the line, I can actually change that to a plus 4. So my final answer then is x to the 3 all over y to the 4. Okay, so that's, that's uh, your final answer, simplified down there. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So... Anytime we have a square root, a square root, I want you to put a 2 in there like that just to remind yourself. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the square roots and remember it, um, it's going to become a fraction then. Okay, so the, t the 3 is going to go on top and 2 is going to go on the bottom. So it's 8 to the power of 3 over 2 all over it. Now if there's nothing with it, will you put in a 1? Okay, so the 1 is going to stay on top, whatever's inside stays on top. So it's 8 to the power of a quarter multiplied by 8 to the power of um, so the 2 stays on top, on top, so it's 2 thirds. Simplify again, 8 to the power of 3 over 2 divided by. So when you're multiplying, add the powers. So it's going to be a quarter plus two thirds sorry a quarter plus two thirds gives me 11 over 12 so it's 8 to the power of 11 over 12 and then when we have um, the same basis here and we're doing division subtract the powers so it's going to be 3 over 2 it's minus 11 over 12 and we're left with 8 to the power of 7 over 12 and that's our final answer like that Okay, so um, for today, lads, I'm going to give you the question from the book there. Um, so I'm going to give you for today, you did up a squares question six yesterday. So today I'm just going to give you question number seven. So page 477, question number seven. Okay, page 477. So I'll write it down there for you. Page 477, question number seven. Okay, so that's for today. And will you also... Um, yeah, so just stick with your rules of your indices or your log rules. If you're dividing, subtract the powers. If it's to power to a power, you multiply. If you have a minus up here, you can just bring it underneath and change the sign. Okay, drop me an email if you have any questions. Thanks, lads.